inside uh, the recess and then just push the shaft through the ferrule giving you an extra pair of hands. If you use epoxy to help lubricate the ferrule and, and get some between it and the shaft, then occasionally you'll need to clean it out or drill out the hardened epoxy from your tool rather than have to make a brand new one. The only ferrules that uh, you won't use this uh, type of tool on are either the reducer ferrules or the specialty OEM replacement adapters. In one case, you might damage the ferrule, and in the other uh, case, the ferrule might not fit the hole. So that wraps it up. Now let's turn this back over to Rob. Okay. Great job, Jeff. And be on the lookout for an email with a link to a recording of this webinar complete with Jeff's vocal presentations and slides. And if uh, folks have questions, you can start um, typing those into the question box. Also, in about an hour, I get questions all the time. Where can I find um, links to this webinar? It's very easy. You can go to youtube.com slash Harico Golf. YouTube dot, YouTube go, I'm sorry, youtube.com slash Harico Golf. And that'll be up in about an hour. It's divided up into uh, three or four different sections. And it will also be on our blog at blog.haricogolf.com. That's blog.haricogolf.com. OK, so we got a question here from John. Is there a specific reason why ferals are, in, are an interference fit? Is there any reason why one should not simply enlarge the ID to an easier fit with a tool like a Dremel and use epoxy as one does when fixing the shaft of the head? Mm, just the extra time, I think. Um, if you use something like a Dremel, because the, the speed is pretty fast, these, the, the ferrules are plastic and it's easy to uh, take out too much material. And you may find that you get an unsightly gap um, versus, it's just easier to drive them on, I think. Okay, great. Any other questions out there? I know, I know there's, uh, we've got almost 100 people on today's meeting. Don't be shy. If not, we might have to just wrap it up here, Jeff. Okay. Did you have any uh, last words? No, the, the, that was pretty much it today. Okay. All right, guys. Thanks so much for uh, being with us. And uh, have a great weekend, everyone.